Um, but also most businesses will use a reasonable number. Uh, <laughs> that didn't come out very well. Reasonable number. Say that if you buy one chair for 50 bucks, yes, that's a capital improvement. A chair should last more than one year, but are you going to report 50 bucks as a capital expense? Rather than say you bought 300 chairs at $7,000, you're replacing all your chairs. That's obviously then a capital improvement. And so you would report that expenditure in line 64. Usually the errors come around uh, remodeling. Because typically replacing a carpet, repainting the building, doing minor things like that are not extending the economic life of the building. And so generally those are annual operating expenses. However, I would say that if you go through your entire church and you replace all the flooring, you repaint the whole building, you do all new wallpaper, you've now improved the economic value of that building. And also the cost is going to be much more than just one or two thousand, and that's a capital improvement. Uh, we have the same thing with replacing roofing. If you have just one or two roof tiles that have blown off, you go up, you replace those, you fix a little leak, that's repair and maintenance. But if you need to go up and replace the entire roof, that's a capital improvement, and it should be in line 64. Um, there's a lot of discretion or judgment that you'll need to make on deciding whether it's repair and maintenance or whether it's a capital improvement. Um, and all I can say is make the best determination that you can. So any questions on capital asset versus repair and maintenance?